Daryl McMahon makes one change from the side that dramatically beat Bogdan Regis last weekend. Joe Wright remains between the sticks, whilst the back four of Monville, Scott, Hoban and O'Donoghue remains the same. Tom Wright makes his 100th appearance for the Urchins in midfield and is alongside Oli Muldoon. The attack sees a first start for Liam Nash since January, alongside De Silverville Herte and Scanner on the wings. Up front, Femi Akinwande has five goals in his last three games as he eyes up the Isthmian Premier League golden boot. Joe Christou drops to the bench. Hornchurch looking for their eighth win in a row here at the bridge as they come up against Billericay Town. Ryan Scott accidentally hitting it into Muldoon's face. I'm sure he won't thank him for that. A bit of Ricky on the attack here. There's Alfie Sorelli. Passes it out wide to Callum Jones. Bradley Stevenson faking to whip into the box. Comes back to him though. There's a chance here, but it's easily picked up there by Joe Wright. Nothing much to trouble him there. Bill Herte. Femiak in one day. Running down the wing. Goes past his man. What a run here by Femiak in one day. And he can't find the final ball, unfortunately. Sean Scanner will pick it up again. To Akin one day, but it just goes through his legs, unfortunately. Ollie Peters. Looking for that long ball. Cross to the captain. Doesn't quite find him though. And a pop from distance. Joe Wright needs to be on his toes there to not be caught out. Solid strike that. The ball bounces out. Here's Bill Herte. It's a three on three here. A four on three. If you can find Scannell running down the wing there, as he always does, there's Scannell. Back to Vilherte. Goes for the pop. Saved. And Aki Wande! Well, that's one of the easiest chances he's going to get all season. And it's 1 0 to Hornchurch. Femi Aki Wande on this fiery streak of his. Been played on side there by Callum Jones, but he appeals in vain. Is Tom Bender. It's picked up by Bill Recky. It's a shot. It's a fantastic stop there with the leg. Matt Johnson from close range and uh, Joe Wright's leg prevents Bill Ricky from equalising. Shouts for a penalty there. Waved on by the referee. Come out to O'Donoghue. Nice touch from Muldoon. Here's Femiak in one day for a second. Great stop there from Dan Wilkes in goal. Fantastic ball from Joe Wright there. So good with his distribution. Here's De Silva Vilherte. Slips, but great skill there to maintain the ball. Liam Nash. Strength from Liam Nash. Goes for the pop. Unfortunately, directly at the goalie. But great strength there from Liam Nash to turn away from his man. Bender looking for that long ball. Balls through to Alfie Sorelli. Goes past Hoban and it's an equalise for Billy Ricky. Nice little touch there from Alfie Sorelli to get past Tommy Hoban in defence. And it's all square. on the attack again crossed into the box and Joe Wright had to be alert there to keep that one out simple stop but he has to make it here's Bradley Stevenson tackled well there by Muldoon but Billy Rippey will maintain the ball back to Stevenson again fantastic challenge from Liam Nash doesn't quite get it though Here's George Wind, 
and that deflection could have gone anywhere really. And it was lucky that it didn't divert into Joe Wright's net. Here's Liam Nash out to Sean Scannell. Turns wind one way, turns in the other. Across goal and Lewis Manor was waiting at the far post. Scannell's been a threat to George Wind in the right-back slot for the entirety of the game. Header on, and it's a goal for Hornchurch. Ryan Scott looks like to be claiming the goal, but didn't look like he was anywhere near that ball. It was great crossing, as always, from Tom Wright. Muldoon challenging Callum Jones there for the ball. It looked like it went off Jones's back there. The goal has officially been given to Ryan Scott, even though it didn't look like it did come off him. I'm sure he'll take it, though. It's Sean Scannell. Up against George Wind again. He's been giving him nightmares all game. Here's Scannell. Nice little turn. And again, once more, has him on toast. And what a fantastic goal that is from Sean Scannell. George Wind didn't know if he was coming or going there. And he sent him for an absolute picnic. Fantastic goal from George Scannell. Look at this. Drives one way. Checks back. And then drives the other way. Had George Wynn like Bambi on ice there. Booted up field by Wilkes. Muldoon attempts to clear but doesn't quite get on it. Here's Bradley Stevenson goes for the pop but it's straight at Joe Wright. Bradley Stevenson scored the goal in the 1-1 draw in the reverse fixture. But he was getting nowhere near the goal with that shot. Ryan Henshaw on the ball, looking for George Wind. Nice ball across, doesn't find anyone though. And Quentin Monville can clear. Goes up to Lewis Manor. Fantastic head on there from Lewis Manor. And Femiak in one day is one on one with the goalie here. Can he make it four? He absolutely does. Fantastic slot past the goalie there by Femiak in one day. And that's his brace. And he goes storming over to the Hornchurch bench. I have to say, it looked like to be a heavily fought contest there midway through the first half, going into the second half, but Hornchurch have absolutely dispatched Billericke here. The final score is 4-1, and it's 11 points from the next 10 to win the title for Hornchurch.